Hello everyone and welcome back to another Britsent video. I'm back today with another video to help improve your British English pronunciation. Today's video is simple. I'll highlight the five most common pronunciation errors I hear my students make. So listen up and let's begin. Number one, thankfully. Now, what I hear a lot in my classes is thanksfully. This may be a misunderstanding of the word itself or a pronunciation error. Either way, it should be pronounced as thankfully. This is used when we feel we or a situation is lucky and we are fortunate. For example, it started to rain but thankfully, I had brought an umbrella with me. Or, thankfully, the only parts I had studied came up in the exam. Number two, women. I know that this one is confusing. The singular version of the noun is woman. I'll say that again and listen to the vowel sounds. Woman. The plural version causes difficulties because both vowel sounds change. We pronounce it women and not women. Let's compare the two. Woman, women. Woman, women. For example, there are a bunch of middle-aged women waiting to start their Zumba class and women should be treated equally to men at work. Number three, stomach. Looks easy, but the ch is tricky. Instead of a ch sound, this is pronounced as stomach, stomach. We all have a stomach, also known as a belly. Interestingly, this word can also be used as a verb. If we can't stomach something, it means it makes us want to throw up. For example, Oh, I'm so full, I couldn't stomach another bite. Or, lie down and nap if you have a stomach ache. Number four, vacuum. A synonym for vacuum is hoover which is, in fact, more common in the UK. Both words can be used as a verb and a noun. But what's the problem here? Many students incorrectly place the stress on the second syllable. Instead of vacuum, it should be vacuum. 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 For example, I asked my flatmate to vacuum the living room. Or, have you vacuumed your bedroom yet? And finally, number five, yolk. For those who don't know, yolk is the middle orange part of an egg. As you can imagine, this word confuses many students as it's not spelt phonetically. The L is actually silent and the word should rhyme with the word woke. Rather than yolk, it should be yolk. Let's pronounce it again. Yolk. Yolk. For example, Oh, I love fried eggs with a runny yolk. Or, wow, you can tell these eggs are organic. The yolk is so orange. Well, there you are. Now you have no excuse to pronounce those five words incorrectly. Make sure you check out our other videos and follow us on our social media, which is linked down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.